Good morning and welcome. It's Justin from Basic Miniature Painting, and in today's video, I will be carrying on with, <coughs> excuse me, my Volco Berserkers, these dudes. Okay, them guys. Now, I have already base coated them white. Now, the reason I've gone white, <coughs> excuse me, is because I want the skin to be of a lighter colour. Now if you used to do black, okay, that black will make the model of a darker skin tone because it's black underneath. Yeah? So I've gone white. So because as well it helps see all the detail. His beard and top camera focuses. Alright. Just there. Right, so big right, first thing first before I crack on. These are the paints I've used. Literally, he's had a coat Bugman's Glow. And when I've applied this Bugman's Glow, because I did all this yesterday afternoon and had a spare few hours, it's literally two thin coats. Excuse me. Now, that's just that. Okay, Bugman's Glow, two thin coats. Because if you do it too thick, it would, oops, it will um, hide all the details. And I'll show you the details, the best details to give. The rooms, sorry, thing went away. Just there, see him on his shoulders and on his back. Yeah, too much, too thick, cover them up. So, two thin coats, okay. Now, these guys, all these, this one, Carl, the main dude, he's had a wash already. Okay, so he was washed about 30 minutes ago, and I'm still waiting for him to dry. I don't want to wait for that to dry completely. Same as this dude, he's had a wash, he's just still see. Once the camera focuses, the wash, Roglan Flesh Shade, in there, drying. So I'm not going to paint him either, he's waiting. So that's what I'll be doing today. I will be going, I'll be painting Canaan Flesh Tone on these dudes. Right? And I'll show you these have all had washers, like I said before. Paints, oops. Paints I've used to start off with Bugman's Glow. Then it's Rogan Flesh Shade. Right? Then it's a layer of Canaan Flesh Tone. And then a final layer, <coughs> excuse me, a bit of a cold, <coughs> I do apologise. Final highlight, sorry, Kiss Live Flesh. Okay, so these are the paints you need for doing uh, flesh. Now I find flesh really difficult to do. Because you can't just like normal these space marine armors, just for example, this dude. You can't just go, with these you just go... Red, gold, wash, layer, done. Flesh, you can't, you have to get right. And flesh is easy. So these are the paints you need. Like I said, they've all been washed already. So you can see this one, this one. They've all been washed. Okay. But I shall, I'm waiting for, he's already been layered. I shall show you. You can see, yeah, how I did it. All right, so you want Cadian Flesh Tone. So, paint's a good shake. I'm going to be carefully because I don't want that going everywhere. Oh, I've got my wet palette, so it's literally splodge. There, so just get enough in there. Haven't got to worry about getting any water on it. But if you'd like, your wet palette might dry out a little bit. One dab of water in there and mix it around. I will wash off my brush just because there's too much paint on there. Close that. Always make sure you close it properly because you don't want paint going everywhere. 
Okay. All right, a little bit of, <coughs> excuse me again, paint on your brush. Okay, away we go. So that's what you need, that much. On your brush. And then what you need, what you're wanting to do is just on the raised areas of the shoulders. Try not to paint in the recesses of the runes. So the raised area there. It's mainly the top half of the shoulder. Now we'll give this an, a second coat. Okay, now I'm leaving <coughs> excuse me. The recess there, okay. Just because you want that dark hair. So I'm just gonna paint on top of the bicep. Yeah. Just leaving that tiny bit of a recess. And that recess is too big, so I'm just gonna like that, yeah. Now again, just there. Like I said, don't worry about if you get paint on the um, what do you call it? like a wristband, a groovy, funky wristband. I don't know. Again, you just see a re a raised area. Well, I can. You probably can't on the camera. Just there where the muscle is. Again, you've got a muscled area there. Just there. I've got a very, you got a, excuse me. You've just got a dip there where the tricep head is. It's just here, just here. This is the tricep. And there, and where the tricep, the bottom half of the tricep ends, you've got the definition. See that line just there? Just that little dark area. So leave that dark area. Now by doing this, it makes the muscle, the skin, pop. Yeah? See how I've just left that? I might make it a little bit thinner because I don't want that to be too thick. Yeah? Now I'll move my thumb and that's what you're going for, yeah? That. It's that simple. As long as you leave where the crevices are, yeah, you can't go wrong. So I'll just leave the room because you want to paint that. Just go and along the top of the what they call it the trapezius muscle which is the muscle connecting the shoulder to the neck and there's a rune just under his beard you probably can't see but I can just there yeah so you're leaving that definition that line where the bottom of the chest is and where his stomach is you just paint them there like I said leave that little that between the chest here and the stomach leave that dark because that's what you're going for when you layer it up you're leaving the dark color underneath yeah you probably can't see when the no you probably can't see sorry about the the lighting but that's one side of the shoulder done yeah, it's best to show you the back. You can probably see the back better. Yeah? So I mean? Well, I shall carry on. If you want to, I shall be quiet, so if you want to skip through. Again, leaving the runes. There's no, you just need to paint the flat areas, yeah? <clears throat> I 
little paint on your brush as possible and that way as I said before then that way you can control how much paint you put on the model okay now just literally I'm leaving them runes just there because they're going to be a different color entirely what color I'm not sure now there's a line <coughs> I should get me an even thinner brush than just in now. I've just covered it up, so I do apologise. Just wash my brush. And I've just realised I've been using the wrong colour. What a total tool. I've been using Bugman's Glow. What a mistake. But not to worry, I'll we'll cover up. Just need to get that line there. You wonder why it wasn't going on. It wasn't sitting right, the colour. And then I realised I was painting Bugman's glove on it again. What a tool. I'm leaving that little recess in the arch of his back just there because that's where the dark area is, yeah? Again, that little join here. As you can see. Leave that. And then paint there. Little brush little little brush, listen to me. As small amount of paint as possible on your brush. Because you can always add the paint. You find it difficult taking it away, like I just have. Now again, see? I'm just getting as close to that recess as possible, but leaving it. Because then that adds definition. Yeah, you often hear about people and these guys go to the gym. See, I'm just doing the trapezius muscle. Just there. And I'm leaving that bit there. When my brush is pointing from here, I'm just leaving that area there. Because that's what you want. You want that muscle, that definition. You see, so you want the muscle and the skin to pop because these dwarves, Volko Berserkers, which are from the Age of Sigma set, are very muscly guys. So I'm just leaving that. You just see a little line here. You probably can't, but I can. Again. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, just here. Trying to get as close, make the smallest line as possible. Just there. Hope you guys are all doing well. I have noticed that I checked my where people view from. A uh, fifty percent of my viewers are from the UK. So a big thank you. Uh, so it's twenty percent of my viewers are from America. So, hello and welcome to an English dude painting. Again, I'm just leaving that recess. Try and get in that little bit more. Just there, that's better. Sorry for moving the model when you can't see what I'm doing. It's because, simply because I'm trying to get the right angle for the camera as well as me painting. So I do apologise. Again, just leave the recess. And just see a rune here. There's one on his chest as well, so just come in here. Leave that recess here between his neck and his shoulder. Leave that, because that's what you want. You need it dark in there. Just go underneath the... But that's... This is it. So you're going to leave, again, leave the chest, lower chest, to, this, to the side of the stomach with the obliques. 
Nor if you get any paint on the handle there, because you'll be going over that with the darker colour, because that's a little hand, hand axe. Okay. But that's that. That's the way you... Same goes for the legs as well, leaving all the areas darkened. Well, I should go over them in a minute. But that's, excuse me, the way you layer. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will carry on. I don't want to carry on painting the whole lot, otherwise the video will be like an hour and a half long. You don't want to sit here listening to me ramble on for an hour and a half. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, <clears throat> like, comment, and subscribe Ooh, sorry. to the video. It only takes a few seconds. Just hit that like button. Helps me out no end. So a big, big thank you to everyone who's watched this and everyone who comments and everyone who has subscribed. We just hit my 44th subscriber, so big thank you. Massive thank you to Nurgling. If you want to pop over to his channel and... Check his stuff out. He's doing an amazing line on the Seven Deadly Sins. And the characters are like mind-blowing. I will be painting something different. I shall finish these guys off. And next week, in next week's video, will be the axes are really, really simple. They're just going to be lead belcher, silver, stormhouse silver. The hair, same as that, that's going to be... Like the cloth area in between will be a different colour. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll, the beard and the hair are the main. That little dragon bit there, that's going to be silver. Same as the helmet or the headpiece. Now the biggest other thing on there, because they're mainly silver, and is the hair and the beard. And the hair and the beard... Hmm. Will probably be... I think I'll do them orange. Yeah, I think I'll do it orange. So next week will be the orange. Next week I'll do the beard and the hair. We'll call it hair or Mohican or whatever it is. Will be the orange. Because that's the other defining feature on these Volcoic Berserkers. Is the orange. Is the hair. The hand axes and stuff I will show as well, do as well. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Listen to me ramble on about all and everything. Now, like I said, like, comment, subscribe to the video. If you, if you like the video, you like it, put a comment in there. Just said great video. Helps me out, no end. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll just move the camera back a little bit. This is Justin saying I shall see you next week. Thank you very much for watching.